Hey, need a boyfriend? Hey, do you have a boyfriend? Yeah, no, you got one? You want one? Yeah, I like that one there. Oh, uh, your That's boyfriend's good, yeah. your boyfriend's bigger than me. <laughs> Welcome to Demolition Off the Ranch, not sure yet. Uh, if it's Demolition Ranch, it's gonna be more of a vlog type video. Um, Hope you're cool with that. If it's off the ranch, you'll fit right in. There just might be some extra guns. Uh, it's a beautiful day, sunny Las Vegas. We got a, we got a good workout in this morning. It was great. Uh, picked up some chicks at the gym. No big deal. Let's get out, back to SHOT Show, and I have some more guns that I want you to see. They're cool. There's some cool new stuff. There's some of the same old stuff, like every year at SHOT Show. Oh, and after spending most of the day yesterday at SHOT Show, I wanna say this to the companies who go to SHOT Show. When your representatives are all wearing suits, looking super formal, it's not inviting, in my opinion, to go up and talk to them because they look like they're just too good for everybody. And now this might be good for like big businesses who they wanna go talk to people in suits and stuff, but like people like me who are just like a normal guy, like I don't wanna go talk to that guy. But that guy over there in the t-shirt, maybe, maybe it's a collared, a, a collared shirt you know, and a, a ball cap that's got his company name on it. Like, that guy looks cool. That guy looks like someone I want to talk to. But your guys in the suit and ties, I don't know, man. I just, I don't know if it's the right move for all you big companies out there who think you need suit and ties. Just just one, one guy's opinion. Take it for what it's worth. Nothing. Before we even got very far into the show, we found a demolition member right here in the flesh. And you look oh. great. <laughs> <laughs> I found the most expensive, ridiculous gun in SHOT Show. It's so expensive and ridiculous, they had to put it in an aquarium. Like, reptiles live in here. Look at this thing. It's got some sort of weird over-barrel thing on it. It's got some crazy huge chassis. It's got a prism in front of a scope. This is chambered in 375 shy tac It's like a two-mile gun. Nice. It also looks like it weighs 100 pounds. Rob Lunkers is here. Uh, we found a gun. It's called the Ulf, Ulfbert by Alexander Arms. And I like 338 Lapua Magnum. Check this thing out. So it's a semi-auto, kind of AR platform, 338 Lapua Magnum. Is this 10 round mag? 10 round polymer mag. 10 round mag. It's a big gun. Shooting a big round. Semi-auto. Quick follow-up shots. I like that. In the apocalypse, here's what Rob and I are gonna be sporting. Yeah, Rob? That work for you? We got we got a big gun there. A big gun here. A big gun automated up here. Look, it's a tail gunner seat. Got a winch on the back. I need this in my life. You know what I do not have? Actually, Rob has this, and I don't have it. An AR-15 with a suppressor on it. Like, look how good AR-15s with suppressors look. Oh, this is pretty light. Yeah, it's not bad. That's just, it looks nice. So I think that's on my list. Suppressors for my ARs. 5.56, five, I have 7.62s. Okay, I found it, guys. I found the best weapon. Entire 2018 SHOT Show. It's a tactical baseball bat. So we got we got a muzzle brake on the end, of course. We've got a we've got a scope, we've got a four in, and then we got the safety. I always keep it on fire just just in case. Come here, Rob. Come here, buddy. It's for the views. Probably gonna place an order like a hundred of these before they go out of stock. I know I showed y'all this thing yesterday, but I just had to stop back by it and marvel at it. I think this is a battering ram. Is this a battering ram? It looks like this thing has a piston that would shoot this thing out and smash someone. I mean, I mean some building. A water hose in the front and a big water hose on the top. Water cannon. 
for dispersing crowds, which I would need, you know, like being a famous celebrity these days, like I just gotta, I'm going to school, going to church, I just need to like water everybody down, you know? Think about how much fun we could have with that. Get like four of them, we stand in the middle with shotguns, like you and me, just yeah. fighting off all the, the flying pigeons. Oh, uh, that'd be cool. This thing just spins, it's all robotic, spins and shoots clay pigeons everywhere. We should get one of those from Demolition Ranch. So Rob and I, we like guns. Shot Show's all about guns, but it's also about like junk, like, meat, right? Meat cutters? Like there's, yeah, we found meat cutters. There's like um, heated hand muffs, literally right there. A heated hand muff. <laughs> there's a lot of junk at Shot Show. We're trying to get through the junk and find only the coolest stuff for you guys. Which is harder than you think. Like, oh, there's, up. Oh, look, no guns there. There's, there's no guns down that whole aisle, I don't think. Just junk. Oh, look, ladies' purses. Ladies' purses. I think we need to, I think we're in the wrong set. This is all just junk. <laughs> Literally, it's all junk right here. This is SHOT Show, guys. We're at the Parazzi, Parazzi booth. Their guns are ridiculously expensive. It retails for $176,000. Right here. It's just an over-under. Do they know it can only hold two shells? That's my question. $400. Also, over here, $270,000. Over-under shotgun. This one? $400,000. I wondered why it said these has for assistance. Yeah. I mean, like, that row of shotguns is worth more than everything we own. And it's just four shotguns. Mary, you know what? You're pretty special. I want to get you that. I want to get that for you. I'm at X Products booth, and uh, so they made the Can Cannon, which you've seen some Can Cannon videos by Now they've made, you call them a cup or a wad? I call it the wad. So you put this in there, and then you can put anything in your Can Cannon. And we can do like custom homemade shotgun shells again, but way better this time. Way bigger. I like the wad. Would. What do you call this? This is a spear adapter. So it's no, a... Rob, that doesn't work like that. <laughs> <laughs> so they have grappling hook, which we've done before. This one is for spearing things. So this just flies out and sticks into things. Correct. Yeah, it, it's about thirty oh yards. Oh my accurate. gosh! <laughs> and then we have a reel for it too. So you can put this underneath and reel it back in. So if you got a big fish, like you see like a hot chick. For sure. That's how, <laughs> cool. we, that's how we catch them. And these are like this is hilarious. Actually. Thick rubber balls, less lethal. Just in case Rob's pissing me off. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I'm scared. Little models here. Okay. <laughs> you might be. <laughs> no, but these are, you know, essentially utility units that you can use for doing a lot of things from construction rescue to um, poly equipment up. Just um, keep that in the middle and try to pop down so that it's nice and firm. Hi, Matt. See you guys. I'll look for the coolest guns all up here. My favorite part about SHOT Show is Rob and I are up here walking, looking for all the coolest guns. The girls are just, I don't even know why they're here. They're just hanging, they're just chit-chatting, they're looking at the purses probably. They don't care about this stuff at all. So I was just thinking, Mayor, you know, black guns are for guys. Gold guns. Girls love gold, right? A gold Tommy gun? Are you serious right now? Yeah. Hey. Oh, come on. I, think, I think she did have rhinestones. <laughs> it's a PS90 by FN. It's nothing new. They've had these forever, but I feel like it'd go good with my FN57. It's the same caliber, same round. So anyway, what do you think? Anybody shot a PS90? I've never shot one. What do you think? Kadex Defense makes these 50 BMGs. Look at this. Look at look at that. Look at that can. Giant suppressor on it. Look how pretty this thing is. Look how heavy that thing is. Pick it up, Rob. Is it heavy? It looks heavy, but it also looks amazing. And from here forward, it has to weigh 20 pounds. Yeah, I bet so. God, but look how good it looks in green. Barrett's are not that accurate, really. I mean, they're, they're pretty accurate, but this gun is supposed to be 
super accurate. This is like the ultimate don't tell Mare gun. Except Mare knows she's holding the camera. What do you think, Mare? I think you shouldn't tell me. <laughs> so, are you saying you think I should get it but not tell you? Saying I don't want to know. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, I have enough guns. And then something else comes along and makes you realize that you do not have enough guns. Hey, can we get a little epic edit on this one? Do you, do you That's it. That's SHOT Show 2018 for us. We're heading back to Texas today. Mary, are you excited? You, you mean you don't want to stay here for another week or two? Even I sort of get tired of guns after a while. It's just like booth after booth, it's just AR-15, AR-15. I love AR-15s, but there's a lot of AR-15s here. That's it, we're out. Rob, see you buddy. See you back. We're gonna hang out pretty soon, I think, right? Rob and I will be there for you guys very soon. Um, God, I'm gonna have to do my, my screaming outro in the middle of this. Y'all ready for this? Let's see if anyone. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you. And I'll see you next time. That's not scared of anything. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> We're about to quad hop. Bobby? <laughs> I'm a doctor. Ish.